Hey guys, it's Grace and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit on iMovie. This video is quite requested and I finally decided to do it because putting all these stuff together is such a hard time for me. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. The camera I use for filming is Canon G7X Mark II and I'm using the 13 inch MacBook Air with M1 chip for editing. It is literally my baby and I love her so so much. I feel like important footage is really really basic but just in case if you have any questions hope this help you out. So for some reason, some of the MacBook don't actually come with HDMI slot, SD card slot. So by having an adapter, it lets me plug in my SD card and to actually import my footages to my MacBook to edit. Here's my adapter from Ugreen and I really really do recommend it. Right now what you have to do is to plug in your adapter and then your SD card. Then this adapter thing will pop up on your screen, click into it, choose your folders. I usually will create a new folder and then just name it however the video would be and then select your files, pull them into the folder, and it will start to load. As in how to import footages into a new movie in iMovie, what you have to do is to press the import media button, choose the folder where you just saved all your footages in, and then press import selected. Right now you can finally pull your first ever footage into your timeline and start to edit. What rough cut means is that you have to cut out parts that you don't like or you're simply taking a breath or you're simply speaking trash. You don't want to make it too lengthy nor too choppy or else people won't enjoy your video. First, find a start to cut your clip and then find an end. After that, you'll have a whole separate clip that you do not want. Then you select that clip and then press delete. Rough cut is one of the longest and toughest part in editing. However, something makes it go by a lot faster and easier is keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts that help me most in editing are Command plus B equals cut Command plus C equals copy Command plus V equals paste Command plus Z equals undo Last but not least, Command plus Shift plus Z equals Redo. What cam burn means is actually zooming in or zooming out. I usually use cam burns to put emphasis on something which can draw people's attention. What you have to do is first cut a whole separate clip, select the clip and press the crop button. You'll see three choices, press can burn. I personally do zooming out in my intros, this is why I always press the swap button. Hey guys, it's Grace, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Crop to fill is basically cropping and it's really really similar to can burns. What you have to do is split a whole separate clip press the crop button again and then this time you have to choose crop to fill and then just fix the bracket thing to wherever you want to put emphasis on and basically that's it <laughs> okay go to youtube and search the green screen overlay of your own choice copy the video's url and then go to this website online video converter and paste your link Make sure to change it to mp4 format and you can download the video. Once downloaded, pull it into your timeline and then just press the two boxes, press green slash blue screen and voila! And I just finished uploading a video, I'm gonna be posting it tonight. Go check it out. Auto effect mean where my voice goes higher or lower and I usually use this to cringe myself a lot. This took me a long time to figure it out but after like 2-3 to three weeks using iMovie, I finally figured it out and it's actually really really easy. First, select the clips that you want to let your voice go higher or lower. Then press the three circles. You see auto effect and then click none. You have a ton of audio effects to choose from. The one I usually use is pitch down one or pitch up one. And I think I'm going to do a little haul because I feel like I always go shopping in my videos but I barely do any hauls so I'm going to be doing one today. 
Let's start off with sound effects that actually last for a second or even shorter. These are the sound effects that help me to put emphasis on something that suddenly pops up on the screen, like texts or PNG images. I usually like to use bottle cork and mouse click. You can also find other sound effects in the iMovie library and on YouTube. First, click audio and then go to sound effects. Right now, there's a lot of sound effects for you to choose from. For now, I'm using bottle cork, so you pull that track to your timeline. That's it. There's this other kind of sound effects called jangles. It's kind of like a short music and the track is longer. And basically the only jangle I use is Pursuit. And what you have to do is same with bottle cork one, so I'm not going to be repeat that anymore. I usually use transitions when I don't want a hard cut, especially something is happening in a sudden. And I usually find my transitions from the iMovie library or I self-make my own. Let's start off with the iMovies ones. First of all, press transitions on your screen. Here you can see a lot of different transitions. In this example, I'm using slide left. So you pull that transition onto your timeline and basically that's it. I also like to use slide right and fade to black as an iMovie transition. And to spice up the basic transition more, I like to add sound effects like bottle cork or mouse click. And basically, here's the result. Hope you enjoy it. So let's hop on to the self-make ones. So first, press backgrounds on iMovie. I usually like to use white, so here I'm pulling this white background into my timeline. Make it as short as possible, and I usually like to add bottle cork with it, so it looks like this. Hope you enjoy it. Firstly, go copy a footage from your original timeline that you want to put a border in. Now start a new project and pull a background. Right now I'm using this baby blue cover background. Paste the footage that you just copied into the timeline and pull it on top of the blue background. And you'll see this like two boxes. Change it into picture in picture. Put a size of the footage bigger so that it actually looks like a border around it. And then right now save that project and go to the movie that you've been working on. Paste that video that you've just saved as a project and voila, here's the result. If you have been using iMovie for a while, they have some terrible titles and fonts. This is why I use Fonto on my iPhone to make my fonts. Some fonts I really like to use on Fonto are Helvetica, Helvetica New Bold Italic, Lemon Milk Bold Italic, Georgia, Futura Medium Italic, Shoreland Script Bold, Retron 2000, and Cuvetica RG Regular. First, go to Fonto and use a green background with the size of 2560 times 1440. What you have to do is press add text. You can type whatever you want and go to style and just to play around with it, I usually like to add a border or a background and then just move your font to wherever you want. After that, I usually airdrop it to my MacBook and here I will pull that green screen on top of the footage that I want to add the text in and basically press the two boxes, press cut away into green screen. And right now, press the crop button. You will see three choices, which is fit, can burns, and crop to fill. For can burns, I usually like to play around it and make the very fun movement of the font. So to do this, what you have to do is first type the sentence that you'll be wanting to make the typing effect with and just delete one letter and then airdrop, delete and then airdrop and so on and so forth until you're finished with every single one. Right now, go to a new iMovie movie and then pull every single green screen that you've just saved. And then right now, press the crop button, make every green screen into the fit option. Right now, you're going to save that project and go to the original timeline that you've been editing on. Pull that green screen and make the speed into about 8,000 percentage or if you wish for a faster or slower speed. And then right now, you're going to make the cutaway thing into green or blue screen. To make this typing effect even more realistic, I like to use this 
typing sound effect I find on YouTube and what you do is go to online video converter, paste the video link and this time you have to turn it into mp3 format, download that audio and pull it under your footage and basically that's it. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys through a weekend in my life. What we're going to do is first copy the footage that you want to put this white background in from the original timeline and then paste into a new movie. Right now you're going to be going to backgrounds and then pull the white background on top of the footage. Press the two boxes, press cut away and then slide the opacity lower or like however you want it to be. And then save this project. Right now you're going to make this green screen with text on your iPhone and then airdrop it from Fonto. You're going to be pulling this green screen right on top of the project you just saved and then you're gonna save this project again and go back to the original timeline you've been editing and then voila here's it Firstly, you're going to be finding an image that you want to have a transparent background and that you want to put it in your video Download that photo and then go to remove.bg that can remove your image background 100% automatically and free. Right now, you're going to go back to your iMovie timeline, pull that onto your video, and then press the crop button, make it fit, and then press the two boxes, make it picture in picture, put it wherever you want it to be, and then I'll usually add a sound effect, which is bottle cork, which spice up everything, and basically that's it. So I'm going to be planning some YouTube videos right now. So I usually get my music from YouTube or Thematic. So Thematic is this platform where you can just sign up for free and get any music which is non-copyrighted. Just if you link the music down below in the in your description box. See right now I'm here downloading this song. You press this arrow button and then you go to licenses and you'll see that song that you've just downloaded. Just press on the link. And then it's copied to your clipboard and then no worries because you're going to be seeing that audio file um, in your music app and they're going to be searching non copyrighted music find one that you like go to online video converter make it to mp3 and then just download it and you can pull it into your timeline as a music file you can also go to the description boxes in my videos to check out what musics i use if you do enjoy them that's going to be today's video i'm not really good at explaining stuff so if you still have any questions Make sure to comment down below or slide to my Instagram DMs at grace.myt. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.